Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I've got something really cool to show you guys. At first, I didn't even think it was possible, but actually, a fan emailed me uh, the other day and uh, suggested I check it out. And as it turns out, it really is possible. Um, and it's actually pretty cool. So, what we'll be checking out today is how to bring Shipmaster, aka Ratus Vadum, I think I pronounced it right, I'm not sure, but how to bring him all the way to the fight against Tartarus at the end of this mission. Because normally he just stays behind and, you know, does nothing. But, before we get into this tutorial, I want to first give a big shout out to my sponsor, Instant Gaming. If y'all are in the market for some really cheap games or great deals on other games, then look no further than Instant Gaming. Here you'll be able to find great deals on many of your favorite games across numerous platforms, so if that's something you're in the market for and want to help support my channel in the process, then feel free to check it out via the link in the description below. Alright, so, to do this, uh, it's actually not too bad actually, not too hard. You could do it by yourself, and it wouldn't require too much extra effort. But, if you want to go the easiest route, then uh, you should do it on co-op with one friend. But anyways, what you want to do at the very start is get the Shipmaster onto the turret of the Spectre. You can do that by getting the Wraith before he gets in, and he'll automatically be on the Spectre, and you just simply need to drive it. So once he's on the Spectre, then just simply proceed through this part of the mission as normal. Just get all the way to the part where you have to fight the Wraiths, and then enter the building. So, you should not get out here. Just simply drive the Spectre in, and then once you get to this door, you'll notice the Spectre won't be to squeeze through. Now, it might be possible to squeeze the Spectre through, in which case, if you are able to, then just, you know, you can actually disregard a lot, a huge chunk of this tutorial, but we could not get the Spectre through the door. So I would recommend just um, getting the shipmaster out at this point and then have your friend push him inside that hallway and once he's inside just drive your spectre back outside and make sure no other leads get on. If they do just get him off and kill them later but for now just drive the spectre outside and leave it out here and that's it and just like I said kill all the elites. Aside from the shipmaster, I mean, you can't kill him anyways, but just kill the other, the other elites here and just uh, leave the spectre out there and it's important because you'll need it later. Without it there, it's going to be, you're going to have a few more extra steps, but I'll, I'll mention that later. But for now, the shipmaster will stand still in here and all you need to do now is just uh, push him forward a little bit. He'll stand still most of the time. But don't worry, this is not like Sergeant Johnson where you need to push him like so far and so so much in Halo 3 in order to save Sergeant Johnson at the end of Halo 3. Uh, this is a lot easier. Most of the time, at, at certain points, the Shipmaster will uh, follow the Hunters and push on ahead. But sometimes he'll stay behind either to let the shields recharge or for no particular reason at all. And if that's the case, then, then you'll have to push him ahead manually. But he'll follow you pretty far up to a certain point of the mission. Uh, at the very least, past this part with the drones. And then he'll get to like a set of stairs where he'll stand still. At which point you'll need to push him again. Uh, but then, you know, once you push him far enough, he'll see enemies and he'll start attacking the enemies again. And then once you clear all the enemies out, then he'll once again follow you uh, up to the scare part. So, once we're here, just uh, take out all the enemies and let the cutscene load. And... Uh, Shipmaster will still be there after the cutscene. Or, uh, I forgot to mention at the beginning, Shipmaster, aka Ratus Vadum, aka Halfjaw. That's one of the very common, name, common names he's also known by. But I'll just keep calling him Shipmaster, because that's what I'm used to because of Halo 3. Uh, but, anyways, so after the cutscene, once the Banshees arrive, just simply grab a Banshee. And now, you need to push him off this ledge. You, it's, it might be a little tricky to manually push him because it's a wide open area and he has a tendency to run back to this point. Kind of like how uh, on Halo 3, Johnson keeps running back to that point if you save him. So the trick to pushing him off here is not to actually push him yourself, but to make him jump off the edge. Uh, don't worry, he'll survive because he's totally invincible. But what you want to do is, you don't want to boost your Banshee directly into him like my teammate here is doing. Uh, what you want to do instead is hold the Banshee back try to keep as still as possible and then just quickly boost for a second. The boost won't really move you forward much but it will cause him to leap out of the way and you want to do it at the right angles to get him to fall off the edge and after a little bit and enough practice 
you'll eventually get him to leap off the edge himself. Um, sometimes you get stuck at the edge and he won't move and you can push him off yourself as well. But most of the time you want to get him to leap off the edge. So once he's uh, on the ground, you want the other player to keep an eye on him. Because if you turn around and look away too long, he'll despawn actually. Uh, so as long as someone's looking at him, then he should be fine. And what you want to do is go back and grab the spectre that you left behind at the beginning and bring it to the shipmaster and all you need to do is just wait for him to get on the turret and then you're all good so what you want to do now from this point on it's pretty simple and if you've watched a lot of my videos in the past um, all you need to do is just bring the spectre with you to the rest of the mission uh, into the Tartarus boss fight room which isn't too hard to do um, and you can even do it solo if you wanted to but to get the, uh, the Spectre into the boss fight room against Tartarus, it's a lot easier on co-op. But for those of you who have not seen my video about bringing a Spectre into the uh, final boss fight room, then, you know, I'll show you guys again right now. So just uh, watch and learn. <laughs> so just drive it this way underwater. Don't worry, you'll survive. Uh, it might be easier to navigate underwater in classic graphics. Because in Anniversary, it's not a... It's not very clear, uh, it's a little hard to see sometimes, but just uh, bring up the hill the hill here, and to boost up the hill, you want to hold down your jump button, which in my case is left bumper, other people it's going to be the A button, um, but you know, if you're on the original Xbox version, then it's probably the A button. You could do this on any version of Halo 2, it doesn't have to be Anniversary, um, it could be OG Xbox, it could be PC, but anyway, it's just uh, boost up the hill here, and keep going until you come over here. And you want to be very careful at this part. Just uh, simply drive onto this ledge here and just uh, slowly go forward and just hug the wall. Try not to fall off. If you fall off, you'll need to um, find your way back and then do the same thing again. But don't worry, it's not too difficult. Just um, go slow and you'll find your way. Uh, but once you reach here, you'll want to actually boost up the ledge. But boost carefully and if you want to be extra careful you could boost in bursts uh, but you would need to back up and get a little bit of speed and then just keep boosting your way up and keep hugging the wall of course and when you turn turn around here just be very careful you don't have much space to maneuver so just be very careful and then also very carefully drop down here and if you land it just right you should not flip out or anything and then from here on out just drive down here and you'll notice that you'll land right in front of the main door here where you're supposed to go in normally so that's it now once you land here just simply uh, sit tight and wait for Johnson to come around the scarab and let him uh, blast the door open once the door has been blasted open just drive on in and this is where you will need your co-op partner see this the Spectre does not normally fit through this gap here you have to like kind of boost into it at an angle and kind of wiggle it around uh, and it'll be stuck but keep boosting and the easiest way is to have a teammate punch you keep punching to uh, nudge you through but if you are playing by yourself you could get out and then punch it a little bit then get back in boost some more then get back out and punch it again um, but yeah it's a little it's e easier on co-op and here, you want to, the wall is slanted, so you want to try to boost onto the wall at an angle, and then you'll just slip right on through. And then once you're through, then just uh, drive the scare, um, the specter in, boost to other brutes here. You just ignore them, and you hit the loading point, and you load the cutscene for the final boss fight. So, at this point, you're all good. You did it. I actually did not expect this to. Uh, I never thought it would work because. I always imagine that the shipmaster will just despawn after a while, but no, he does not. He actually uh, remains here on the specter, and at this point, you could you could get him off, and he'll behave like a regular lead on this mission and charge in with the other leads to fight Tartarus, and he's invincible too, so he's a pretty good asset on this part of the mission. But uh, if you want him to beat Tartarus, uh, it's pretty hard for him to do it by himself. Your best shot is to get him onto the turret of your specter and just uh, drive him around that way. You can either hang up here and let Johnson take down a shield while the shipmaster shoots at the turret, or you can bring him down and just be careful not to let uh, Tartarus hit you with a hammer. He'll pretty much knock your specter off the edge or even blow it up. 
but just keep driving around in circles here and, and Tartarus should not be able to hit you as long as you're careful. But after a while of enough shooting with the turret, the shipmaster will be able to kill Tartarus. Uh, and yep, thanks to his help, he, he uh, was a great asset in the fight against Tartarus. Now, the last thing I wanted to try here just for fun was to get shipmaster into the final cutscene with um, Miranda Keys and everything. But that seems to be a little tricky and quite frankly out of my control I think. I can get the Spectre into the scene as well as other elites but there's no guarantee as to which elites are going to be in the final cutscene. Like here you see a bunch of like regular elites and the uh, council elites but no sign of Shipmaster. He did despawn but I think if you keep doing this eventually like randomly Shipmaster might appear in the cutscene uh, at certain spots but in this case he doesn't. Uh, I think only a certain number of elites actually can remain in the cutscene while the rest are all despawned and you don't really have much control over it as far as I know but you know you can keep trying and you know it's, it's not really that hard to bring shipmaster here the the hardest part is really just uh, the moments we have to push him around and stuff but that's about it but yeah so there you have it. That is how you can bring Shipmaster or Ratus Fadum or Halfjaw with you all the way through the whole mission from start to finish and have him fight Tartarus alongside you. The ultimate team, Arbiter, Johnson, and Shipmaster. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Anything else you want me to check out or look into, just let me know. I'll do my best to look into it soon. But other than that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time.